all of this. Okay. A nuclear arms race. And that's what's going on. End times. Okay, let me begin. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bush Shem Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Yahweh Bush Shem Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Wakak and Dash. Okay, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, our elders of GMS. And salutation of peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel. The 144,000. And the multitudes and multitudes and multitudes of Israelites that's coming up out of this madness, this nightmare. Nuclear arms race. It has an arm which you I'm adding nuclear, you know it's an arms, nuclear arm race. Got the ward head there. And they got a little graph here showing you the nations that are building and well their current count, which you know this count is off. You know. So it says Russia six thousand three hundred and seventy five, the US five thousand eight hundred. And as we speak this nuclear arms race, those numbers are increasing. All these nations here. <laughs> and if you're paying attention to what's going on in the news, you see all these nations are starting to have more and more conflict. More and more conflict. Speaking of conflicts, what's going on in um, Europe um, with um, uh, with Kosovo? You know, which, if I'm correct, I think the U.S. is back in Kosovo. Um, it plays. The U.S. is always behind something. You know what? Let me grab that here. Open me a new tab, and it should be under. Um, it should be on the RT. It should be under here. Because it's picking up more and more news as days go by. Um, this is straight up. Um, Joel, the book of Joel coming coming up out of the you know, coming up out of the bet coming up out the pages. The book of Joel, and I'll grab that in a minute, but let me grab this. Let's see if I can find this. I was just reading it early, early this morning. I can't remember what I was reading it on. Um that's funny. It's not in here anymore. No criminal cases, you know. I'll find it because it's actually, like I said, it's picking up steam. What's going on over there? Um, I might have to go Germany to one of you German language. Here we go. Standoff over Kosovo going from bad to worse. Russia warns. Russia warns, calling on NATO to step up and prevent military conflict with Serbia. As tense relations between Serbia and the breakaway region of Kosovo worsen, Moscow has said the West is failing to step up to the mark in order to prevent all-out conflict breaking out. This is, you know, you know, America's mo, man. <laughs> you know, it has to be a uh, 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 conflict. It has to be disorder. You know. It's the only way America can uh, uh, that's the way of their that's their agenda is to cause chaos all our country breaking out and avoid a return to bloody fighting in an official statement issued on Tuesday foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova and you notice how things is like timing a, you know, a time in itself concerning the MOTB, uh, concerning this um, 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 winter, that's the season that we're in, uh, concerning this uh, um, the serpent serum, making people sick, you know, um, uh, how everything's just timing itself, all the be, all the pop off at one, one time, you know. The times are evil, 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 even, even bad times. 
you know? Um, tension between the two sides are going from bad to worse. The, the top officials also emphasize that NATO has taken it, taken it on itself to keep peace in the disputed region and caution that failure to cool the situation could lead to a dangerous escalation. NATO forces for Kosovo and the EU rule of law mission have their mandates to prevent lawlessness and therefore they bear full responsibility and that's America's, that's Babylon's ultimate goal is lawlessness. You know, they have an agenda behind this. You know? They can't have it, they have to destroy the whole world. If they can't be the head, they have to destroy the whole world, man. And therefore they bear full responsibility for protecting civilians and showing peace and security. Alright. So let me go back to that this one here. Arms race. There's conflict everywhere. Let's not forget about what's going on in Syria, what's you know, uh, concerning Israel and Iran. You know? Let's not forget about that. Let's not forget about uh um, it, uh, Israel allowing Saudi Arabia to use its missile defenses. <laughs> oh man, you want to talk about that drum beat of war? It says here, Joel three and one. For behold, in those days, and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations, and will bring them. And let me add again, concerning. Um, uh, uh, America the cutthroat going behind France's back and stealing their um, stealing their um, military contracts you know concerning those um, submarines dividing Europe the NATO nations the European nations dividing them you know that's that uh, the iron mixed with clay they don't mix <laughs> the book of Daniel baby so it says here and I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat which Jehoshaphat is the Hebrew is can't even say it in the Hebrew in the Hebrew it's um, in, um, um, Yah Yah Yahasapat which mean Yahweh judges. Let's pull this up here. Yahweh judges. Go back. Here we go. Means Yahweh judges. Yahweh has judged. It's like Yahweh has judged. And is judging all those heathen nations. Remember the captivities during our history that we were under these under these nations um, on this list here minus Egypt you know minus the Egyptians which the Egyptians are they do have military might they do have military might but Yahweh is about to judge these nations let me continue on reading this forgive me and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead. Pleading means that word plead itself means to judge and to, you know, let me just instead of instead of trying to go off my memory, let me just go to it itself. Plead. Vindicate. You know. <laughs> and who are we waiting for? We're waiting for you, how shy to rise up to the prey first. You know, it's Yahweh Shai who's coming. He's the defender. <laughs> okay, vindicate, punish. All right, condemning and punishing to execute judgment. Whew. So behind all this is going on. It's all the. It's all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is all he's doing. This is his. This is his will to destroy the nations. And it says, and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and parted my land. 
Let me get this, grab another scripture here. I got all kinds of scriptures going through my head. <clears throat> I'm looking for Isaiah. One in Isaiah. Here we go. Um, Isaiah. Um, Jeremiah 49. Jeremiah 4, 51 and 1. I'm going to read all of the, you know, let me read 51 and 1 first. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, behold, I will rise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. <coughs> a destroying wind. Hmm. That destroying wind is thermonuclear missiles. Give me a second. I'm still trying to find the scripture. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Now, you see where this is going? This arms race, you see where it's going now? Humanity on brink of nuclear annihilation. You know what? Let me, let me, this is how it should be written. Apocalypse now. Esau and his kingdom on brink of nuclear annihilation with threat highest for 40 years. You ain't too worn and chilling message. <laughs> This is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. This is his. This is his. This is his mind. This is what he's thinking, and this is what he's going to execute upon this world. Okay. Don't get it twisted. There ain't no other way. There ain't nothing else going on but that. The nuclear arms race has the globe teetering, unacceptably close to mass atomic destruction. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said. It says nations continue to develop nu deadly nuclear weapons in a show of international force. This is beautiful what's going on. You, hey, brother, y'all, y'all got to do it. Just hold on a little tighter, man. Just keep praying and just this is almost over. This nightmare, this horrible nightmare that we're that we're living through. You know, this shit is almost over. You know. time of the harvest he urged nations that have stockpiled nearly 14,000 nuclear warheads which that numbers are going up up and up you know is in you know that plutonium and uranium that's just been produced at a high level now you know that's why you see a lot of these uh, uh, crazy storms why they predicting this is going to be a horrible winter you know because all that moisture they're throwing up uh, uh, from these um, reactors that has a heavy influence on the weather, them producing these nuclear weapons, if you read about going to looking into that. Stockpile nearly 14,000 nuclear weapons to sign a comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty to avoid an international crisis. 
It comes as wealthy countries continue to show off a string of advanced destructive arms that could result in catastrophic conflict. Even North Korea just tested a, a hypersonic missile the other day. <laughs> Even North Korea. Okay. The war, World War III, the War of Armageddon. It's the War of Armageddon. Um, hold up, give me a second here. No, I'll just continue to look it up on here. Um, and finish this scripture here. It says this, To gather all the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Um, um, here we go. It says here in Malachi 4 and 1, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Let me continue reading, because it's comfort. But unto you that fear my name's Shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow as a calf of the stall, and ye shall tread down the wicked. This is after we come down with that power, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, said the Lord of power, Lord of hosts. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I command unto him, and her, her rep for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Um, let me grab another scripture here. Oh, the one in Isaiah. Let me grab this. Find it first. Um, Isaiah 24, chapter. Isaiah 24. Okay, um. If you have any sense, man, you'll, 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 you'll see what these scriptures is talking about. You know, it's just so simple. It's just so simple. It's just common sense. Isaiah 24 and 18 says, and it shall come to pass that he who, it's like it, he who fleeth from that noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in a snare, in the snare. For the windows from on high are opened. For the windows from on high are opened. That's those uh, ICBM missiles um, or MERS, multiple independent re-entry vehicles, which have their own independent nuclear warhead on them. That's when they're coming up out of the... Uh, out of space, out of the, you know, out of the firmament, out of, and entering into the atmosphere and, and, and head to their target. The windows are open from on high, are open, for the windows from on high are open, and the foundation of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. 
you know, and that's the, this, these devils that are in power. Never, they fall, they're never rising again. This is it for them. They're going straight into captivity, straight to slavery, man. And then they're going to, after a thousand years, they're going to relive this again. Um, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon and the kings of the earth upon the earth. Um, so, uh, again, here we go. Let me close it with this one here. I'm thinking of, um, I'm thinking of Revelation. The book of Revelation, where she had, I know it's 16. Okay, 16 here. <laughs> Here we go on um, Revelation 16 14 for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of the most high almighty behold I come as a thief Because that's how it's coming in the midst of all this fighting when World War III, the War of Armageddon, kicks off. Uh, he's going to come in the midst of that. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment, this truth, the truth with works, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon, Armageddon, that is pronounced. Come on, baby. Strong's G seven seventeen, Armageddon, Armageddon. Yeah, that And it says here, in A, in the definition A, in River 16, the scene, the scene of a the struggle of good and evil is suggested by that battle plane of Esdraelon, which was famous for two great victories. <laughs> Let me continue on of Barak over the Canaanites and of Gideon over the Midianites and for two great disasters the death of Saul and Josiah hence in Revelation a place of great slaughter hence a place of great slaughter remember the Lord said wait upon me till I rise up to the prey of great slaughter the scene of a terrible retribution upon the wicked <laughs> The scene of a terrible retribution upon the wicked. <laughs> oh, oh. Thermonuclear missiles. And it's coming. This is that lake of fire here. You know, this is that lake of fire. Well, hope you're ready to fight till next time, little woman. Shalom.